What's up guys, Larry here, uh, about 4.30 in the morning, and I am in here in Omaha, Nebraska, and today we have shoulders and arms on the menu. I'm going to preface this entire workout and entire video by saying like and subscribe to the channel, bring you a lot of content in 2023, things that can help you uh, develop the body you want, get the strength that you want, and the development that you want, so that is my goal for this channel, and to answer any questions that you may have about training at a digestible level. So, with that being said, shoulders and arms. This is not a pairing that I actually like. Today's workout is a workout of circumstance because generally it would just be arms, and I probably would have been in here a little bit later. But, seeing as that I didn't have a whole lot of time to hit chest yesterday, I only hit that, didn't worry about shoulders, didn't worry about triceps, and just came in, did chest, and now with this pairing, I'm having to group shoulders, which is a weak body part, and arms, which is a body part I'm also trying to improve. However, there are advantages to a type of uh, program like this. So seeing that I trained chest yesterday, I did a whole lot of pressing, right? So with this workout, we're not going to do any type of pressing. You're going to see a lot of laterals. You're going to see a couple of different variations. You're going to see some rear delts being hit. And we're going to do everything we can to build our shoulders up without putting anything over our head. So that's going to save rotator cuff health. It's not going to put a strain on our shoulders like we had on, on our shoulders yesterday. Then there's going to be some carryover over triceps. Even with yesterday's training, hitting a lot of tricep with no direct work, they're good and ready to go, right? Now, I understand that that may not be what's good for everybody, but if you're going to use shoulders and arms, make sure that you plan it out and it's not a workout circumstance, okay? So, a couple of key things that you wanna keep in mind when you're training your uh, shoulders. Obviously, when we're doing a dumbbell lateral, which we'll do today, you wanna to try to get it as much over your head as possible, get a good side, get a good contraction in the side delts, and then also you want to make sure that your body is aligned when you're doing cable laterals, that there's a pretty decent stretch behind you when you're pulling the cables up this way. Um, with arms, really that's more of a pump than pound body part. You want to make sure that you get a full range of motion, you can track your biceps and triceps, and then just move on to the next exercise. Arms don't need a lot. Yes, I like my volume. I like my thousand rep arm workouts, but that's not something that's required to build a good set of arms, okay? So with that being said, we're not going to delay anymore. We're going to get to work. We're going to work really hard. Uh, this morning took a supplement called Alphagen by Morphogen Nutrition. So if you get a chance, check them out. Pretty decent product. And we're going to put it to the test today. So let's get to work. Okay, so starting out with today's routine is that I want you all to consider when you're doing your uh, shoulders to start out with rear delts. All right, why? Because number one, they're a very bar hard body part to hit and to improve. You only really got a couple of movements that'll be able to hit the rear delts in a particular way. And this is one of the ways, which is a machine uh, rear pec deck fly. Uh, the form for this is that I have my butt back on the seat and I'm using my hands uh, to just push back. I'm not gripping the, the handle very tight or anything like that. I just want some good hard contractions back there in the uh, rear delt. Um, so rear delts are hard to train, number one. And then number two, you usually hit them with back day. But again, seeing as I didn't have time to do shoulders yesterday with chest, I'm going to go ahead and group it up today. Uh, and it's not my preferred form to preferred way to train. Uh, I have seen people do these body parts together, but I just think they take too much away from each other. Uh, that's just my opinion. So please don't take it as gospel. But yeah, this is what you want to do with your rear delts. And then rear delt destroyers, you're basically lying on a bench and swinging the weight for about a third of the movement, just getting an, an intense deep burn in those rear delts. So those are the couple of exercises you could do. There are a few more. But really, I've just found that all rear delt exercises are essentially the same, much like bicep exercises. 
uh, because you only have uh, certain ways that you can go with that. Uh, here I'm doing a behind the back lateral raise. Sorry for the camera angle, I record myself. Uh, but here what I'm looking for is that I'm looking for a good strong contraction in the lateral head of the deltoid, which is basically more commonly known as the side head. So if you want big delts, this is an exercise that you want to do. Um, as you can see, I hit failure a little bit early. I was hoping for 12 to 15 reps. I think I failed about 12, so I'm not too sure, uh, but my performance could have been better. And this is my preferred way of doing it. It's almost like holding a hang clean uh, above your head. If you get the cables up high enough, uh, really work to get a good contraction in that side delt. I'm telling you, it will help you blow your shoulders up to something fierce if you have the ability to do that. Uh, again, this is my preferred delt exercise, so I did. that's why I did it from behind the back and the front to illustrate how I piece together some of these sessions. Now, here is something I got flack over on Twitter. Somebody told me that, you know, you don't raise it above 90 degrees. After that, you're just, it's just straight bone on bone, which is an absolute lie. But then that same person went ahead and posted up uh, something about Joel Seedman, and I immediately disregarded that question as, uh, uh, um, I can't even think of an adjective right now. So uh, we're not gonna get into it, but in any event, these range of motion laterals are crazy. What I had initially wanted to do is I wanted to do a superset where I was doing a side lateral raise, quote unquote, for about a third of the movement, and then drop the weight, pick up 20, 25 pound dumbbells, and then just go for broke on the super ROM laterals. So here today, I got a really strong pump thanks to the pre-workout alphagen, had about six to eight grams of citrulline in there. So that worked out real well. Um, but with these super ROM laterals, remember, you don't want them to be power cleans. You do not want them to be power cleans. I'm gonna say it again. You don't want these to be power cleans. You want these up in a nice, smooth, effective manner really squeezing that delt for all that it's worth, and then you can move on from there. But as again, this is not a power clean. So trainees, don't look to try to make this a power clean. If you can't get what you need out of myo reps, then I wouldn't recommend it. Now here is a special from uh, Hypertrophy Coach, Lee Labrada, but uh, kind of done with the dismay of uh, Milo Sarsev. He doesn't like this exercise particularly too much because uh, we got the blowfish, blowfish face. But in any event, um, really just wanted to work up to get uh, blood into my muscle. So I wasn't too worried about it here. The only thing that uh, makes me alarmed is the size of my arms uh, because they're small. So I need to fix that and I need to fix that fast because there's a lot of people out here rolling on 20s that shouldn't be rolling on 20s. but. I digress. I do got biceps a little bit later in this video, so maybe I can redeem myself or I doubt it. It's me that we're talking about. Another set here. So the weight wasn't too heavy. It was something that uh, I'm accustomed to. And with that being said, this is one of the exercises that I feel I can do for a long time and get the greatest strength to fatigue ratio um, because I could do these all day, not all day, every day, and not get uh, worn out fatigue like I would a close barbell bench press. So something to keep in mind while you're doing your uh, triceps is that you don't necessarily need close grip tricep press to work the tricep. You just need something that's going to provide you an extension and contraction and a pause. Uh, this is a good machine for all three of those phases. That is the Lawmaker Nitro machine. Um, so I like doing this particular one is because I don't really have to get up and peel plates off like I would the hammer strength one. Also, it gives you the opportunity to do a lot of metabolic work on here because you could drop set very, very easily. As you can see, the stack is in close proximity to my hand. So if you have a machine like this or a variation of it, I would recommend that you use it because, I mean, I, I would if I could, to be honest with you. Uh, but if you, like I said, if you have a machine like this, I encourage you to use it. Or even if you just have a hammer machine, uh, don't go so heavy where it's working your chest. The beauty about this is that it leans you forward a little bit. So all you're doing is working your triceps. So just a couple of things, keep that in mind. Also, normally I follow up with an extension uh, to really stretch the triceps out. 
But today I just made this my final exercise and I'm finishing off with a nasty drop set. So guys, just make sure that you're working through a full range of motion with these. Also, also don't go so low where your chest starts to stretch. Uh, I did train my chest yesterday, uh, which is Thursday as of this recording. And uh, you know, I, I, I stopped where I felt my chest was about to really stretch out because I just needed this to be a good tricep workout. And that was it for tricep dips. So normally uh, what you're about to see is I would do this on the machine. Uh, I'm still doing it on the machine, but I'm doing a single arm. So this is an old school exercise, one arm dumbbell or cable extensions. I felt the cable all the way throughout the movement. Um, plus my, my uh, shoulder wasn't hurting too bad where I could do this along with my elbow. Uh, so did about four sets here just to really stretch the tricep out and you know get some additional stimulation for that so uh pretty simple guys uh i also use the same handles which were the hypertrophy coach handles uh that he sells on his website uh for this movement so if you get a chance to try those out guys try those out moving on to biceps kicking it off with some cable uh hammer curls dumbbell place was dumbbell spot was kind of uh crowded so i just opted with cables constant tension throughout uh, really just trying to keep the rep range and the medium rep range uh, push close to failure but not too and just wanted to get in a little bit of extra volume for the biceps as I had pull day earlier this week and I did slam biceps for about six sets so another six sets uh, three sets here and three sets on the next exercise will round us out really well uh, to be quite honest with you, I have to do more forearm work. I think everybody could use more forearm work. It actually gives the appearance of the biceps being pushed up. It doesn't actually push up the bicep like we've been taught by a lot of old schoolers, but it gives a great uh, visual aspect to nice rounded uh, peaked quote unquote up biceps. So this is probably going to be a start. Um, this mesocycle is ending, so I'm going to restart reset and look at some exercise selection this weekend uh, as I continue to close out this mesocycle next exercise is my favorite it is the um, Nautilus curl uh, very similar to what Dorian Yates did back in the day with the plate low at Nautilus however this is a selectorized uh, equipment or selectorized piece by Nautilus rather and it's just one that I really really enjoy you can get a really strong contraction not really one for the stretch for the simple fact that it just hyperextends the elbow so in any event guys thanks for watching uh y'all have a great day please like and subscribe to the channel if you have any uh questions please let me know and i'll be happy to answer them until then y'all have a great day